Judy? Isn't that true? He rules the wind and the waves. Have no fear. Very good. Certainly ties in with the message on faith today. And um, just pray that God will continue to bless you as you uh, do your vocals from time to time. Now we're going to come together in prayer. And I may not know the names of uh, the prayers upon your heart and the prayers in this core at this particular time, but I do know that God knows. And um, first of all, we're going to just focus on him ourselves for a few moments, and we're going to use the chorus as we come together in prayer. He is so beautiful. Just look upon him. He is so beautiful. Heaven's die again. He is so beautiful. Behold him and see the beauty of Jesus, heaven's majesty. And it's all about him today, isn't it? It's all about him. I remember nearly seven years ago, or over seven years ago now, my mom passed away. And just a few days before she slipped away, I was, she was in on the bed, and I was lying beside her, and I said, Mom, you know, how are you doing? And she said, uh, well, you know, sometimes I'm here, she said, and I, I got my eyes open, so she said, I can't be dreaming. Sometimes I am asleep, but she said, I see Jesus, whether I'm awake or asleep. And I said, and she had such a beautiful smile on her face, and I said to her, I said, Mom, tell me. What does he look like? What does he look like? And her words were, he is so beautiful. He is so beautiful. And that was long before I heard this particular chorus, the words of the chorus. It's always been special to me. And I always like to use this chorus. I've been singing it all week. He is so beautiful. Just look upon him. Let's do that this afternoon. Let's do that. I know you have to look at the words. But just picture him and a beauty, a beauty that we can't even explain. I think that's why Mom couldn't explain. It wasn't words in our language to explain the beauty of heaven's diadem. Let's really worship him today as we look upon him.
now for those in our communities and those in our various areas that will be listening to this uh, uh, through various forms of media. Everybody has has their problems and everybody has loved ones who uh, are going through difficult times. And uh, we want to sing for you today, someone to care, someone to share all your troubles like no other can do. He'll come down from the sky and wipe the tears from your eyes. But you're his child, and he cares for you, and he cares for you, and he cares for me, he cares about what we're going through. And he gives us the grace and the strength as we reflect upon our past burdens and uh, the situations that God has already brought us through. And we just want to give him thanks. He is indeed someone to care, someone to share. Let's sing it together.
the circumstances of life calls for any of us. Father, that we can come boldly before your throne and we can find grace and mercy in times of trouble. And Father, just now we want to give you thanks, Lord, that Richard is with us today. Father, we thank you for the answer prayers. And for Richard, we thank you, dear Jesus, that you so willingly, Lord, assigned me to bring him to the surgery and to bring him back to this core once again. And Father, just now I pray that you would bless him in a very special way, Lord, as he does the work here for you. And Father, I pray just now for Brian and for Carol, Lord, we pray that you would be around the of them in these days. We know, Lord, that Roy is going through a difficult time, but I would ask dear Jesus just now that they would look heavenward, turn their eyes upon you, and follow the troubles of this old world and vanish while we look into your lovely face. And Father, again today I pray for the ones that are in the seniors' homes. Father, you know all about them. You know their lonely hours, but we know, dear God, that you can uh, fill that void that is in their life when we look to you. And Father, just now, we thank you for each person, Lord, that's gathered in this sanctuary today. Father, they have different needs probably upon their heart. You know all about them. And I know, dear God, that you can meet each one of us at our point of need. And Father, I would ask in a special way, Lord, that as we sit at your feet and listen, Lord, to your word once again, that indeed, Lord, our hearts will be blessed. And if there's one here who do not know you in a personal way, this would be the message of the hour, Lord, that they too would confess their sins and that they would ask you into their heart as their personal Savior. Just bless nature and Mrs. Reed, dear God, as they lead us from week to week. May, Lord, you guide them and direct them in the right verse to say, and Father, we know that as we listen to them, that indeed, Lord, we will be strengthened in our faith. And I pray, Lord, that as we go into the different homes up and down this shore, Lord, from week to week, that indeed, Lord, that you would strengthen people in their faith, and Father, that you would bring them a little closer to you. And I pray most of all, Lord, that if this one, that that would be that message, Lord, would speak to their heart and that they would find themselves kneeling at their chair or at their bed and asking you into their heart. Just bless ourselves, bless every activity here today, for I pray in the precious name of Jesus. Amen and amen.